Hi everyone, welcome. This video was inspired by my dad asking me, where's my iCloud storage and how do I use it? It's a good question. You know you keep paying for it every month, but if you're not sure where to find it or how to make use of it, this video is for you. So let's break it down together, step by step, so you'll know exactly where to find your iCloud storage and how to use it. First, we're going to find your iCloud settings. Grab your iPhone or iPad and look for the Settings app. It's the little gray icon that looks like a set of gears. Give it a tap. Once you're in Settings, look for your name right at the top of the screen. Tap on your name and that will take you to your Apple ID settings. This is where all your details are. Now that you're in your Apple ID settings, you'll see an option called iCloud. Go ahead and tap on that. And here's where you'll see photos, documents, backups, and more. Your screen may look a little bit different from mine. You may have different apps appearing here. At the top, it shows you how much storage you're using. So I have 902 megabytes of five gigabytes used. So go down here where it says, see all, save to cloud. We're gonna tap that. This is where it shows you all the things you have in your iCloud storage. Photos, iCloud Drive, Mail, Passwords, Notes. Yours will be a little different depending on what you have set to back up. Make sure down here, if you have iCloud backup but it says off, you want to turn it on. Now let's take it one step further. You've seen where to manage iCloud on your phone. What if you want to look at your cloud account online? Let's do that now. I'll move to my computer so you can get a better view. You can do that too, or you can use an internet browser right on your phone. If you have an iPhone, you should have Safari installed. So either from a computer browser or from your phone browser, we're gonna type in iCloud.com. Make sure you have your Apple ID and password handy. I like to keep mine in my Notes app or my Google Keep app. We can cover those in a future video. If you'd like some more information on using your phone browser, I'll link to my last video with tips. Now that we're here, you may need to sign in and trust this browser. If it's your personal computer, it's okay to do that. So here's your iCloud page online. You can see everything from your phone that's being stored in the cloud. Your page will look different from mine, but this is where all your backups are found. You should see photos, notes, messages, contacts, and more. You can also click on the grid in the top right corner and see what else is on the menu. I'll see what's available if I click on your iCloud storage. Okay, so that's showing me what I have used and what I have available. I'll click on the back button. Now let's try clicking on our profile. Go ahead and click on the tile with your name in it. This page would allow you to change your storage settings, customize your page, to make any account changes you want. I'll click the back button. So this is your iCloud storage. If you ever wanted to know, here's where all your backups are kept. 
And you can even start a new calendar item, a new note, a new email. And they will sync to your phone. So this page is an overview of your iCloud storage. Let's see what happens if we click this plus. Okay, we can just start a new message, a new note, a new calendar item. You can also do that down here in the tile where the apps are. If I want to start a new note, I can click on note. I can look and see if the notes I already have there, or I can start a new one. Let's go ahead and try creating a new note, just so you can see how it works when you do it online. Go up to the Compose button at the top right of your screen. It's the square with a pencil in it. Click that and we'll start a new note. Let's say we're going to create a note for passwords. We'll start with our Apple ID password. You would just go ahead and type that in here and just name every password that you want to keep on your list. That would help you in the future to easily find it when you need to. And that's it. The notes here in the cloud and it will also sync to your phone. Now let's click the back button. It would also be a great idea to bookmark this page for the future. If you're using Chrome, go up to your browser bar and click the star. You can edit the name here to remind you what the bookmark is for and then click done. Let's open up a new browser and take a look at our bookmarks. So here you see, because we clicked on the star on the previous page, we see that iCloud is saved as a new bookmark. You can also add a shortcut to this page. I'll type in iCloud and then type in the URL of the page, which is just the address, iCloud.com. I'm going to take off .com on the top line. I'll just put iCloud. So now next time you want to come to iCloud, you already have a shortcut and a bookmark. And there you have it. You now know where your iCloud storage is, how to access it, and how to make sure you're using it correctly. I hope this guide was helpful. If you'd like more tips like this, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if there's something specific you'd like help with. I want to make tech easier for you one step at a time.